Hi, I'm going to show you how to make a clock app with custom fonts for Bangle.js. So there's already a tutorial that shows you how to make a seven segment clock. And this one uses one of the um, font libraries that's available for, for Bangle.js. So there are a few different fonts you can use here. Um, but we're going to try and import a custom font. So I've got a very simple clock application here. Um, we work out the strings for the date and time uh, using the locale library so that it's in a in a format that's actually kind of translated. Um, and then we draw the time by setting the font, clearing a rectangle behind, and then drawing the string. So we just need to import a font. And the best way to do that is using the font converter. So um, this has got a link to fonts.google.com. And if you pop there, there are a whole load of different fonts. I mean, hundreds and hundreds of fonts available. So, so that we have an idea of what it's actually going to look like on the clock screen, um, we'll just put some characters that are, might usually appear on a clock screen. And we can, we can look down and we can see if we can find something that might be interesting to, um, to put on a clock. So let's, uh, let's just choose, uh, say, this one here. Okay, so all we need to do now is click select this style. Um, you want to make sure that you only have um, one particular font listed here because the font converter will only use the very first one that's in that list. And you, you take this link, which is the fonts.googleapis one, and you just paste it into here like this and click go. And you can see it's it's done a little rendering there and you can see exactly the characters that have come in. But this is currently very low resolution. Um, and also we don't need any of these characters apart from the, the numbers. So we'll say we only want the numeric ones and I'll drag that slider right up. Um, in our current app, this text here is actually set to be 60 pixels high. So we'll keep that to 60 and we'll click go. Now it's saying here that um, the font itself, you can see we asked for a 60 pixel font, but we actually, we don't get quite 60 pixels because it doesn't quite fit in that box. So I'm just gonna drag that up here until it says actual height 60 or close enough. Okay, so now we've got this, we can just copy the code from this, um, this box. This code includes a base 64 encoded version of the font that can be, be loaded straight up. So I'll add a function here. Um, I'll just stick this down at the bottom actually. Let's, uh, I shall stick it here. So we'll add it to graphics.prototype and we'll say dot set font. Uh, it was called nurture. We'll create a function and we just paste that code in. So now all we have to do is, um, in fact, we just take that name. Instead of saying set font vector, we say set font nurture. And the graphics library is smart enough to know that there's a function called set font nurture and to call it. So if I click that, we should hopefully find after it's uploaded that we've got our new font in there. And we might now think, oh, well, that, that text isn't very good either. So we'll change that. So what we'll do, we'll go to the font converter. We want a much smaller font now, probably 16 pixels or so to make it a little bit more readable. And we want all of the ASCII characters. So that's uppercase and lowercase in there. And we can see kind of what it's going to look like now. So if we go and um, take all of these characters out of here, and then we paste them into a new function, and we'll call this one Nutra Small. And now we can just use the same thing here. And the only thing to watch out for is that um, uh, here, the, the font is now bigger, so we need to clear a bigger area. Um, and we probably want to pad it out a little bit more here. 
And the same here, you can see that now this font's updated, it's changed from a five to a four, and it hasn't quite cleared the, the correct area of the box. So we just need to clear a slightly larger area for that. Um, now we'll upload this and see what happens. There you go, and now we have a, um, a completely custom watch face. You can follow the instructions um, on the clock tutorial for how to actually add this to the Bangladesh app loader so that you can you can start it from your launcher and you can also um, put it out there so that other people can use it and enjoy your clock face. Thanks for watching.